Hey there, I think, <laughs> I think I'm live. Um, usually I have this countdown in my phone, all of a sudden, like the last minute, texting keeps coming through, texting, texting, texting. And so it kind of messes with my camera, but I think it looks like it's live. Um, so, uh, hey there, and I'm happy to bring you the third and final card. Happy mean, makes it sound like I'm happy to be done with Jill's party. I'm not happy to be done with Jill's party. Her party is going to continue on, um, even though my demos will end today. So if there's something that you want, Want from her party though try and, and get those orders in so that she can close up her party I haven't um, specifically um, asked when she wants to close but uh, all my hostesses have 30 days from the time the party starts till it ends and a lot of them like to close up early a lot of them like to keep on open all 30 days so it all depends on what they like so hey there Beth good to have you on here so today I kind of scale back um you guys loved yesterday's card I don't think I've got that many likes on a card that I've posted on my page in a long long time if ever so thank you for that um, but today I'm scaling back because I've kind of went overboard with die cuts and all sorts of um, putsy projects and um, and not only for me making the cards but for you guys when you like to um, recreate those cards I try to kind of vary um, cards that take a lot of effort, those that don't take a lot of effort. So today, this didn't take a lot of effort. Um, behind the scenes, it did. It took me quite a while to narrow down how I wanted to layer things and um, what colors and different things to use. But um, once I got it done, I'm like, oh, this will be fun to make a bunch of these really quick and easy too. Hi there, Donna. So let me get my camera turned around here in a second. I just want to make sure that my um, iPad is working so that um yes here it is um so if you guys have questions or comments you can um do that so that i will see them all right so let me move my camera to an angle that's gonna better suit you to see what i'm up to today all righty so like i said my virtual host is here this is her third and final card that I'm demoing, Jill Screwy here. And this is it. How fun is that? I sometimes, as much as I love traditional Christmas colors and everything that goes with it, I think sometimes just doing something a little whimsical is kind of fun. And this paper just totally sets the tone for a whimsical Christmas card. I even thought this would be fun um, to make like thank you cards out of, um, just switch the fall la la to thank you um, for those uh, thank yous that you send out after Christmas and such. So where this is coming from the fa la la anyway and that's not in any of the catalogs that is from framed and festive so right now you know i'm gonna show you this i just made this for jill's party on monday it was the first card i made for her um, from the fitting florets well part of that online promotion is framed and festive and this is also meant to fit in with all of those um all of those uh sentiments and last week or yeah was it last week or not too long ago probably longer ago than last week i did lois's virtual um stamp party and i used um, more of the seasonal from framed and festive with her um, um with her cards and such and so this is while supplies last so it will not show up um in any of the the catalogs the fitting florets is a sneak peek that will go in as a bundle but this is just a standalone stamp set that coordinates with all that i love this font and i know i've said that many times to you guys the style it is right up my alley big and bold easy to read and just fills like your space really really well so um so that is framed and festive and i did check before i came live to make sure that it's still available online and it is so i'd hate to like come up with something and then the main um, guts of it is no longer <laughs> available so that's where the fa la la comes from and before i get too far um i added this little kind of confetti um to kind of match the background of the paper and that um I found like you you will sometimes must wonder about me does she just go digging looking for a background image and sure enough I kind of did I went through the catalog and peaceful deer has this little image that kind of has little stars it looks like snowflakes or whatever and it's just perfect for this paper so I just thought you know what let's bring that in and have that be kind of the background to the fa la la so that is where that's coming from this is from the annual catalog I know a lot of you already have the stamp set and coordinates with that punch so it's kind of nice to be able to use that um, and I'm using something that you might already have all right and then the paper because that's kind of what makes today's project so let's be honest this is 12 by 12 um, and so just really fun um, before I uh, 
started to put this card together, I was going to go with um, like the Pacific Point color here and make it more of a blue, blue and white. And then I thought, oh, why not make it still Christmassy colors, but go with like Granny Apple Green. And then the red is the Poppy Parade. Um, so if you can see some of these different images in this packet, it's got fall, it's got Halloween, it's got Christmas, it's got just, um, just basic designs too. So this is called Celebrate Everything. And this is just $18 from this mini catalog that is retiring. It's just $18. It's a $30 value because there's 48 sheets of 12 by 12 in here, tons of paper. And um, it will be retiring at the end of this mini catalog, except for if it runs out, I think there should be a good supply how you get it for $18 because there has to be a um, some kind of deal, right? Yes. Um, if you spend $150 at like um, will qualify you for host rewards. So then you can get it for $18. You can use your host rewards to get that. Or if you have ever hosted with me um, and go, what should I spend my host rewards on? Like Jill's the hostess right now. Maybe she'll spend her host rewards on that packet of paper. So that's how that works. And always keep in mind the things in the back of the catalog. The next mini catalog has the cutest frog set as part of its host stamp set. I can't wait to get that myself. <laughs> All right, so on with the card because this comes together pretty quick and easy and I'm excited about it. So color combination, Poppy Parade. So kind of a different red and then Granny Apple Green, kind of a brighter green. So these two really coordinate well together and like I said, celebrate everything. So what I'm going to do is um, just start by um, taping this um, and this I cut 3.75 by 5 inches here. And I'm just going to tape that down to my granny apple green layer. And my granny apple green layer, I cut four inches by five and a quarter, which is my usual there. And then my um, card's opening up this way today, guys. And this I'm just going to um, tape all the way down as well. Can't believe how fast this card's going to come together compared to how I try to make all sorts of stuff come together. And so I kind of saved those pieces and I will show you now kind of what I wanted to do. So I got out first my deckled rectangle dies. Those are kind of newer to me. And I took the smaller two pieces and I cut out a fa-la-la with, um, with the poppy parade. Oh, there's Jill. My hostess is watching. Hey there, glad you can be here. And then um, I cut out the next larger size of the deckel with the um, granny apple green cardstock. And I kind of put that together and I'm like, okay, that's going to be fun on the card. But I felt like it just kind of blended in. And so as cute as it could have been, I even thought about, you know, like layering it, something like that, making it look more taggish or something like that. I just wasn't feeling it. And then Jill really wanted and got this um, decorative circle punch. So knowing that my hostess Jill already had this, I'm like, maybe I should tie in a prod product that she already has. And so I was going to kind of put this on here maybe as a focal point and then bring back that fa la la, something like that. And that wasn't so bad. I almost liked that better, you know, than what I had going. And then I thought, okay, let's just bring in a whole different punch. So then I brought in this punch from the annual catalog and it's new, it came out the same time as the, um, the decorative circle punch. And so I thought, let's do that. So then I got out my Poppy Parade ink pad here and then I'm going to stamp out the fa la la. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been listening to um, fun Christmas music. Oh, I just got just got ink where I don't want it to be. It must be on my thumb because as I grabbed it to show you guys, more got on there. But we all know what. What's my biggest thing? I tell you guys, um, there's always two sides to the cardstock. So here we go. I'm going to put it on the other side and hopefully I don't keep getting it. Now I've got it on my jeans because I wiped it on there. So, all right. So let me ink up my fa la la on my scratch piece of basic white cardstock here. And then I can punch that out. Hi there, Rosina. And so I'm just going to center this like so. There we go. And for the life of me, I'll, I usually have a really good memory. I'm trying to think what the name of that punch is. So I could play some Jeopardy music or Christmas music in the background, but I'm just going to quick because um, I know you guys always like to know those things, and I'll post it when I post my still shot of my card, but um, that's one I didn't use, so 
Oh, wait a minute. Don't have the right catalog. Yeah, yeah. Why can't I find it? Huh. Oh, it's part of a bundle. That's why, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I thought this would be a quick find. Um, here it is. Okay, it is the um, lasting label punch. There we go. It is part of a bundle. That's why it's not listed separately. I thought it'd be a quick thing. Okay, lasting label punch. I didn't get the bundle. That's why, um, but I love the punch. So, okay, sorry about that little interlude, but like I said, I know you guys like to know while I'm doing this, what the punch is. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some scratch paper and then get out my Granny Apple Green ink pad here. And from the Peaceful Deer, remember I wanted to bring in that little bit of a background kind of stamp thing here. Let me put my camera down just a little bit there. And so I'm going to just ink that up and kind of hit the corners um, with this design to kind of keep the fa la la front and center and not stamp over that too much, maybe a little bit, um, but I don't want it to get covered up too much. But look at what a difference that makes to decorate that with that background stamp from Peaceful Deer. So now we've got that. And then um, once again, I thought, okay, I could take this and um, bring in like that deckle um, look that I talked about and kind of just put that like so still wasn't really doing it for me and then let's bring back Jill's decorative circle punch which I like and that that I thought might be it but then all of a sudden I had this um, great idea to get out this stuff you guys remember the six by six it is the 2022 to 2024 in color glimmer paper and it has all those new colors in there and sweet sorbet because this is kind of like an ombre look this just really really um match this well so then what i did is put those pieces aside and got out my trimmer. So like I said, six by six. Hi there, Sharon. So I'm just going to, I flip this over just so you guys know. So that's why I'm kind of cutting it. Let me adjust my camera again. Um, I take my glimmer paper and I turn it over because I guess that's supposed to be better for our trimmer blades um, to not dull them as much when we are cutting our glimmer paper. So with this, um, got darker to lighter kind of on both of these pieces so that's a three inch strip and now um, on my card i use a three inch by two inch so i'm going to end up using this all up perfectly without any scraps isn't that always our goal is to use stuff up without any scraps <laughs> okay so let me bring back my card and um, this now is going to be put on there and with that sparkle and shimmer and shine it's so fun before i put it on my card though i want to add a little bit more sh uh, shimmer and shine and in the um, new in color ribbons those tiny i shouldn't say tiny but they're narrow they're like one eighth inch ribbons and they're kind of that um glimmery shimmery the parakeet party matches the granny apple green and just the festiveness of this card perfect so i have parakeet party and it's the metallic woven ribbon so i'm just going to take some of this first before i get too far on my card and just wrap this around my card twice because it's kind of a narrower ribbon so wrapping it around twice just kind of makes it look extra special and if you guys know me at all um, I 99% of the time do knots not bows so let me just tie a knot there and trim off towards the top and then trim off just this little bit that phrase and matches now the right length as the other side and isn't that fun how you got some shimmer and shine now on Jill's card there and so we've got that and now it just makes the shimmer and shine that we're adding with that glimmer paper even more fun too so I'm going to tip over my fa la la and put like three dimensionals on there like so and then that's going to go on top of my glimmer paper. I'm just gonna center that. And then I'm going to tip this over and just put some seal adhesive on there, just some um, stripes of that. And then I'll just kind of edge this up so it goes right up to the granny apple green, kind of towards the bottom here. And then we've got that. So that came together pretty quick and easy. Hi there, Tabitha. And then um, to accessorize this, 
from the kind of beginning part of the mini catalog um, with the Santa Express things. We've got some adhesive backed seasonal sequins. They came in gold, which this is all that I've got left in my gold, about um, one of each. Um, no, two of each, excuse me. And then it kind of comes with that like pearlized white look, which is so pretty. And then it has some pinks and uh, not pinks, but kind of um, sweet sorbet, um, which matches this perfect. And the, and so does the green. So what I did is just took this and went, okay, um, am I going to use pink or green? And what I'm going to do is just decorate some of these ornaments with that. So let me just take um, like a big pink one here and I'm going to center that one there. And I'm gonna take a smaller pink one and put it in the center here. And then I'm just going to take a green one here and just kind of put that down over this one. So just kind of highlighted three. You can, like if you were making this, you could highlight depending on kind of how the ornaments um, fall within your piece of paper. But then it just kind of adds a little bit of shimmer shine and highlight to that. So I thought that was a fun way to decorate up the paper um, even more than what it already is. So we've got that. And then for the inside, um, I'm making this pretty quick and easy. Um, from that same framed and festive stamp set, Tis a Season to be Jolly. I'm going to ink that up with my Granny Apple Green. And then to make it look more festive and kind of tie it in with the front um, of the card, I'm going to take again from the Peaceful Deer, that little um, embellishment stamp kind of, and just ink that up and add that to the sides of my sentiment like so. So isn't that fun how just that little bit of like uh, an embellishment or accent stamp can just do that. I love that. So now that's ready to go on my card like so. And I don't need the scratch paper anymore from my fa la la. So I can put this on in the inside. And I love how the green really um highlights kind of the fun of the green ribbon that see some people like to like put their ribbon maybe like around the green layer so it doesn't show on the inside of the card I kind of like the follow through on the inside of cards and and everybody kind of has their style if they like to show it or not but um, I do like the way now this coordinates on the inside tis the season to be jolly so there we've got the fa la la with those fun little embellishments on the ornaments hi there Sharon thanks for joining in so this is card number three for my hostess, Jill Scrooby. So hopefully you can see a fun way to um, come up with some quick and easy Christmas cards. Like I said, the last two um, so far this week have been a little bit more labor intense with the dyes and different things. So hopefully um, this one might be more up your alley or you might go, nope, that's too simple. I like the more in-depth ones. I know my friend Pam, she just like loves anything with dyes. So she'll spend an hour or more um, per card just to make it fun that way for her. So how you can get Jill's cards that I'm making this week, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, now I've got all three of them done, is uh, place a minimum $25 order using her code or if you need help let me know and I can help you place your order using her code to just remind me that you want to use her code and then you'll get the three cards I've made as a thank you and I'll send those out to you for ordering so that's how that goes and then tomorrow I'm going to start right in I'm going to be doing a series of eight cards this month um, highlighting different products that are retiring and then different products that are going to be coming up from celebration. Um, I haven't got that order yet so you can guarantee until that order arrives I'm going to be using products that are going to be retiring just to give you one last chance of some ideas and things like that before they are gone. So that's going to start tomorrow afternoon. So have a great evening and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.